Hey everybody, Brian King here. Yesterday was mental, was suicide awareness day. And I'm typically not a big fan of awareness days because of the fact that they get drowned out often by everything else that's happened. And there are some awareness days overlap, overlap with awareness weeks and awareness months. And it's difficult for each topic to get the attention it really needs, which is why I recommend doing something daily if you can, or at least weekly. Make it a part of the conversation that you have with the world and the people around you in order to keep that alive. With that said, I really gave Suicide Awareness Day a lot of attention because of how closely it's touched my own life. And one thing I started seeing throughout my newsfeed is people disclosing things about mental illness in their family for the first time. And I think in that respect, Suicide Awareness Day was extremely effective because it gave people a context to disclose something that previously they felt a degree of shame around. And one thing I want to encourage you to do, especially if you follow the things that I put out there, if you follow my podcast, The Mindset King, and hear the stories that people disclose about horrible events that happened when they were children, about depression that they had to struggle with and learn to manage so that they could achieve their goals in life. When you talk about your imperfections, even the ones that have, especially, especially the ones that have mental health labels attached to them, you are giving anybody else impacted by that permission to have a conversation about it. People that otherwise are in the shadows, feeling ashamed, feeling embarrassed, holding themselves back, keeping their gifts tightly held to their chest because they're afraid that they are a standout in the wrong way. And we don't want people to live like that. You don't deserve to live like that. So I understand that Facebook and social media in general has become pretty voyeuristic where people kind of use it as a, a lens into someone else's life and they sometimes can get caught up in what appears to be drama when the reality is folks like you and me aren't looking for attention. We aren't looking for to create some drama. What we're looking for is a sense of community, of belonging, of understanding that we're not alone, to find our tribe, the people that get it, the ones that are going to support us, the ones that have solutions and are connected to resources that we are not, that we need in order to help us achieve the goals that we want. That's why I provide as much out there as I do, because I want people to have the answers they need to be successful regardless of their challenges, regardless of the label. But I don't want to do this by myself. You know, the world's a big place. There are 3 billion people on Facebook now. Let's see how many of them we can impact. And the way we can do that is by telling our story, especially in the context of what our dreams are, how we've not given up, how we continue to pursue the very things that light us up inside. When the mental health issue impacts a, a loved one, like your child, a parent, a brother, whoever it is, talk about how you're supporting that person. Talk about how you are working to empower that person to be proud of who they are as a human being, to not be embarrassed of their difference, but instead to be an advocate for acceptance of that difference. And if you're kind of scared about putting your story out there, you don't feel like you have quite the backbone or the resilience yet that you need, then reach out to somebody who is comfortable doing that. Get a little support from them. Help, let them help build you up so that you can get to the point where you can start talking about it a little bit. Maybe you start by discussing it in a group somewhere where you already have permission and freedom to discuss it, where ideally you're not going to be judged for what your challenge is and how you're approaching it. There are a lot of opportunities, especially these days in the digital era, to get the support you need to come forth fully with who you are in this world, label or not. So please take advantage of those supports because the world needs you. The world needs you to show up fully regardless of what your challenges are.
And there are a lot of us out there ready, willing, and able to help you do that because the world is suffering from people that are showing up either half-heartedly or showing only the pain that they have. And that's one of the reasons why the world is in the shape it's in. So let's turn things around by showing up humbly, vulnerably, authentically, and with compassion. And those of us who deal with the most are often in the best position to show up in that way. So let me support you. Let others support you. Find a community or create a community because the world needs you. We're waiting for you. And whatever your experience has been until now, we're here for you. So this has been my two cents on this issue. If there's somebody else that can benefit from this, please share it with them as well. Until we talk again, this has been Brian. Thanks for being you.